Faith said it all. A crazy man's broken to First Baptist and shot a bunch of people, and he has shot Gina in the head. <laughs> Things like this don't happen, not in God's house, not in America. From KXAN News and Nextstar Media Group, this is Catalyst, a weekly investigative podcast. I'm your host, Josh Hinkle, and this second season of Catalyst... Witnesses in the church said King, dressed in military garb and armed with an M16 automatic rifle, burst through the doors of the Dangerfield First Baptist Church, yelling, this is war. After this happened, I had people to come tell me, time is going to help, time is going to help. If I hear that one more time, I'm going to scream. I don't want time to take care of it. I want it to be taken care of now. Our investigative team is taking a deep dive into the history of mass violence in Texas. 40 years of near consistent attacks, at least 32 mass shootings, hundreds wounded and hundreds dead. I was sitting with my back to the door. It felt like I was hit. You know, somebody punched me is what I thought at first or hit me with something. And I reached up and, you know, it was. My hand was, you know, full of blood. You know, there were people screaming and uh, just, it was chaos. And I remember the the first woman laying there with the bullet hole right dead center, as I remember it, in, in her forehead. For a long time, I would wake up with that, that image in my head. Survivors sharing their stories as we hold state leaders accountable for answers and solutions to prevent more tragedies. Because at the end of the day, the fundamental part of being an elected official is keeping our, our families and our communities safe. Communications number 19 benchmark. We explore ideas coming out of the state capitol that could involve the public keeping a more watchful eye on suspicious behavior. The more people, the more eyes, the better opportunity we have to prevent something from happening instead of always working reactive. I've got a gunshot wound to the leg. All right, I gotta flip him over. And more citizens like you and me learning what to do if faced with this type of danger. We get all the phone calls from the churches and the schools and the hospitals and the business community. What can we do for an active shooter scene? Not only are we gonna tell you what to do when the shooter is shooting, but we're gonna tell you what to do in the aftermath of the shooting. New episodes of Catalyst are available Monday mornings starting November 18th. It's it's lives, it's, it's people and if that's not important enough for us to sit down and have a mature, real, visceral conversation and to invest in, then I don't know what we're doing.